Okay guys, so here it is. We've been wanting to do Rocky Mountain Race Week now for a couple years. And you know, last minute we decided, we've just been so busy lately, we weren't gonna do it, but last minute we're like, you know what, let's do it. We found an NBS to go with our OBS. So here's where the project begins. This is how we got it. Obviously it's lowered, it's got some wheels. Other than that, stock under the hood, stock everywhere else. And we're gonna take it from here. So it's about five weeks until Rocky Mountain Race Week. So we don't have a lot of time. We've been debating what we're gonna do. We got a lot of parts on order for this bad boy. But what it looks like we're gonna end up having time to do before race week is get this thing in, get a head cam package on it, get a small converter in it, and uh, maybe do some suspension work if we have time. But we just wanna get it ready to go and, and run it like this. So not a lot of work gonna be done. Head cam package and send it. You guys already know if you watched our OBS build that we like our trucks clean to start with. So you guys can see here, this puppy's pretty crisp inside and out. I mean, it's a, what, 20 some year old truck now. It's gonna have a little bit of damage here and there, a couple nicks, a couple dings. But overall, this truck is in very good condition and it's a great starting point for this full build. And come check this out. This is another must for Rocky Mountain Race Week. I know we got a bed for space, but we're probably gonna need to tow the trailer. So this bad boy comes equipped, ready to tow. And with that extra head scan package, it'll be no problem for this one. Okay, so she's lowered already. It's a little bit of a rake. I like an even balance, so we definitely got to work on that. It's uh, apparently got a different tailgate than came with it, I'm guessing. Doesn't quite match here. She's feeling, uh, yeah, feeling good. Feeling ready to rip. Get that weight to transfer and get those front wheels off the ground. What do you guys think? We can get a wheelie in this bad boy? Definitely not with the head scan package. It'll need a little more juice for that. Guys, and with the size of this bed, there's plenty of room for activities in here. I don't know what we're gonna do in here yet, but I think a bed liner to maybe make it match the tailgate a little better. I like the clean look of the bed liner. So obviously hasn't been a whole lot in this bed, just a couple of nicks and scratches, but yeah, this truck was probably uh, a grocery getter. All right, now what you guys came for, a little startup video. Let's hear what this puppy sounds like. You guys already know the deal. You hear that LS power. We're just gonna help it along a little bit, run this stock engine on the race week, and uh, I'm sure we got some plans for it available after that. I have to find some parts around here. So let's get it in the shop. We'll open up these bays, see what cars we got in here. I think we got a few Camaros. Get them rearranged, get this thing on a lift, and take a look underneath it. of truth to see how clean she is underneath. Mm. Not a lot of leaks. It's definitely got a little rust going on it's here. Got a drop spindle on it. Drop spindle. Some aftermarket shocks, some rough countries. Rough country. Nice. Let's start tearing this bad boy apart. Okay guys, so we were just debating where we wanted to start on this thing. I think we're gonna start up here with the heads cam package, get all that stuff settled out, then lift it on up, go ahead and get the converter taken care of, and then throw the TSP long tubes on there. So we're gonna do the, the full package all at once, and then we'll strap this puppy down on the dyno and uh, get her tuned up, see what she's making. Okay, so a little tidbit for you guys I didn't know myself here. If you move the hinge location from here to here on the truck, service position. All right, so we got all the intake out here. It looks like the truck may have been sitting a little longer than uh, we thought at first. We got wasps nest. Looks like there's been animals up in here. 
We got a couple on the air filter itself. Look at that. But hey, it did its job. Look at this side of it. A lot getting done quick around here. Potak's definitely familiar with the LS truck. This takes me back to the old days when these trucks were brand new. Mm. Used to work on these all the time. You've worked on a couple recently yourself for you and your son, correct? Mm -hmm. Nice. V6 to V8 flop in a couple of NBS trucks, a 03 and a 06. Pretty easy stuff. But, but yeah, these are same as the Suburban, Tahoes, everything. Kind of the same basic stuff. Um, comes apart real easy. There's this one at EGR, which we're gonna have to plug off because okay. I, I don't think our headers have that provision on this year. But I mean, everything's fairly new. I mean, usually these things like will break off, like all the clips. Yeah, it almost seems like it was sitting like under a storage or maybe I in a garage so. I think for it was a long time somewhere, and somebody just forgot about it. But even the spark plug wires, I don't know if somebody's replaced them, but they just Seen. there's just too much nice too to, new, to have yeah. replaced all of it you know it's like it's just like we said it's just been chilling somewhere mm -hmm. relaxing with a couple wasps in the old air filter some hornets wasps squirrel well it looks like it's coming apart pretty quick mm-hmm yeah we'll probably it's getting late in the day but we'll probably have heads off in the morning sometime and you know the rest of it torn down i still haven't drained the cooling system i'm just kind of working around it for mm -hmm. now and then once I get to where I have to, I'll drain the cooling system when there's nothing in the way. Nice. So far, so good. Intake manifold removed. You guys can see uh, it's real dirty under there. I've already sprayed it once with brake clean to try to flush it out. I'll have to clean it some more. Man, that's so small. Yeah. When your throttle body is smaller than your cat back, you have a problem. <laughs> yes. Okay, so day two on the Rocky Mountain Race Week project. Looks like Potax already uh, at work over here. Gonna drain the coolant. We may have found another animal house inside the truck. Getting her cleaned up. But all right, let's get back to work. Somebody got a hold of the brake parts cleaner. I uh, used like three cans of brake clean. All right, now that it's uh, a lot cleaner, uh, Potax is gonna go ahead and pull the heads off it. See what this short block looks like uh, inside. And just like that, the heads are off. Not too shabby looking, huh? No, other than the, the rust build up and the gasket here and the gasket falling apart. Got to scrape all that off. Yeah. Get her nice and clean. Yeah, that's fun. Okay, guys, well, I think that's about gonna do it for now. We're gonna figure out what heads and cam we're gonna put on this truck, get all the parts together, get them all ready. Um, yeah, lay them out, show you guys what we're gonna do to it. And, uh, yeah, basically uh, trash these old gaskets and go from there.